I am back guys and after spending the entire summer doing placements and revising for exams, I have finally passed my third year of med school and made it into fourth year. So join me on my journey through hell. It's still so dark outside. Oh my god, it's 6 a.m. And this is the part of the vlog where I contemplate whether it's worth waking up this early for. and I start, I have cardiology first at 7.30 and then neurology at 11 and it's something at like one something and then I have a lecture at like 2.30 so it's a pretty long day today um, and it's cold I haven't vlogged in a very long time and if you, guys have, if you guys have watched my previous video, um, the one where I failed a compulsory exam in med school, um, I made it into fourth year, thankfully I passed the exam and it was the most intense day of my entire life. The first week of med school was online but it was only three days from Wednesday to Friday. So it wasn't, you know, there wasn't much going on. I barely had classes because it took a while for the professors to make the teams and stuff. The first week is literally just like the basic introduction. We turned up for like so many of the classes and the professors would be like, okay, just write down your names and then you guys can leave. So I would say this is the full proper week of like in-person teaching that we've had. Last week it was online, so it wasn't that bad, but this semester we're like one week online, one week in person. So this is my first proper like one week in person. I hate this weather, like, no, sorry, not this weather. I hate this time of year because it's the sun's not even up and it makes you not want to get out of bed or leave your house at all but obviously i need to get to class we start at 7 30 which is really early but in bulgaria that's kind of life for you so from first year in the get-go you'll start having 7 30 starts but this semester i have a 7 30 start pretty much every day except for friday where i start at half nine finally made it at the hospital and it's so eerie like no one's here okay I also forgot to say obviously I'm not going to be able to film whilst in the ward but I will update and say what we're doing as much as I can but right now I'm off to the cloakroom to drop off my bags and take off my hat my hoodie and then basically go up to the ward so see you in a bit So cardiology is actually one of my favorite subjects now. We are actually interacting with patients pretty much every lesson and I've got a really good professor this semester. Um, so today we were actually looking at an ultrasound of a patient who has mitral regurgitation and on auscultation, you can hear a very prominent systolic murmur. So it's quite interesting to actually like 
be able to like experience this kind of stuff in clinics now because obviously during COVID last year, we were very limited to what we could actually do. We're running on vibes at the moment, aren't we? We just had neurology, mm -hmm. which was a good lesson. It was literally like 15 minutes though. And now we've got an hour till special surgery. Uh, 40 minutes. 40 minutes, we've got 40 minutes. Um, what did we learn in neuro? So we went over the superficial and pathological reflexes and he showed us how to perform each of them and in two weeks he's basically going to test us on how to perform all of them, what are the reflex arcs for all of them. He actually let us record him performing the procedures on a patient. But right now we're just having some coffee. Yeah, <laughs> and we're gonna go to special surgery. And the next topic is Crohn's disease, which we need to study. Which we need to study for. <laughs> so, see you later. What a day it has been today. Um, I just got home from my last class, which was special surgery. Morning, in the morning at 7.30, we had cardiology and um, it was quite interesting actually. We saw a patient that was admitted last night. He suddenly just started to feel really weak in the legs and he could feel his heart beating really fast. And so he was admitted into the um, cardiology ward and it turns out he had an um, atrial fibrillation. So we actually got to examine the ECG of this patient. The professor was just asking us questions like, what do we see? What axis is it? Um, is there a P wave, etc.?" cetera? Um, he was also kind of explaining um, the treatment options too for it. I think ECGs I'm still a bit rocky with, but I feel like that's with like every med student. Um, ECGs are just like the worst. Anyway, moving on to neurology. Neurology was actually really cool. Um, the patient, sh uh, not the patient, sorry. The doctor allowed us to video him performing different reflexes. And he showed us like some pathological reflexes too, um, which was really, really quite cool. Um, and then last we had special surgery and we saw a patient and the doctor was basically like, you're gonna perform a full history and a physical exam and basically come up with some differentials um, and so after doing all of that we came up with a couple he was quite jaundiced he had tenderness as well um, i believe in his right upper quadrant and so after doing the history and the exam we had a few differentials so pancreatitis psoriasis liver failure like so many different ones the professor then moved on to asking us what tests we would perform. And so from listing tests and him giving us certain responses after you know said tests were done, we were able to like eliminate some of the differentials. We were told that this patient had inflammation of the ampule of vata, ampule of vata, I think I'm saying that right, or if I'm saying it wrong, I'll insert it here. Um, and that basically caused a blockage, which caused the bile fluid and the pancreatic fluid to basically like reflux back upwards which was what was causing his pain. And then again, the uh, professor asked us, um, what are the different treatment options? And so you kind of have to think about it logically. So like, yeah, he's got inflammation, so you need to give him anti-inflammatories. You need to give him antibiotics, PPIs, um, there are so many other drugs, like general energy, analgesics. Like you basically just have to list what you would do and kind of tick it off as you go along with it. Um, and then after we saw a patient who had... Um, ascites so for those of you that don't know what ascites is it's basically a buildup of fluid in the peritoneal cavity and we basically um 
got to see a patient who had that and he was in extreme pain like just lifting his shirt up caused him so much discomfort so we didn't really perform a physical exam on him or um we kind of just went and observed him we just saw him we didn't really ask him any questions didn't do a physical exam but for those of you wondering what it looks like here's a quick picture that i found on google this isn't my actual patient yeah this patient had ascites and we saw him briefly for about five minutes not even probably less and yeah class was then class is then over and i'm home i think it's like almost one or gone one o'clock i have a lecture at 2 30 so i think i'm going to like nap for a little bit because i'm just so exhausted from the morning and then wake up for my lecture. Yeah, well, I have my pneumology, not pneumology, but physiatrics lecture. And physiatrics in Bulgaria is basically um, all to do with tuberculosis. So yeah, it's been a relatively like intense slash chill, chill day. Like I finished early, I started at 7.30 and I was home by like, literally like half an hour ago. So I think by 12.30. We didn't really have chance for a break in between. It was just like one thing after the other and it was quite quick. Um, but I love it. I feel like fourth year is just, I feel like you're actually studying medicine now in fourth year. I feel like first to third year was kind of just mainly preclinical. And yeah, you get introduced to the clinical side in third year, but it's not like full on clinical stuff. 90% um, of my time in fourth year is basically in um, Hirugi Hospital. And I'm probably in main campus for about 10%, which is for my pharmacology and medical genetics class. But other than that, 90% of my time is at the hospital and I'm loving it this year. I'm actually loving it. Um, I feel like I'm actually studying to be a doctor now. Yeah, I'm going to take a nap and then I will see you in a bit. A few moments later. Well, it's half six and I was supposed to wake up like four hours ago. Why is it? That when you promise yourself you'll take an hour's nap, it turns into like a five hour thing. Anyway, um, it is now half six and I am quickly going to be doing, not quickly, but I'm going to go through some stuff quickly. Um, and I wish I had woken up four hours ago. Um, but it is what it is. I have been making Anki flashcards for this, um, for this subject. Just so it's easier to memorize like the information like the um pharmacokinetics pharmacodynamics the um contraindications the indications the side effects etc um it's just easier to memorize because in the essay for the special part that's what we're supposed to be writing so it's just easier if i have the anki done and then as it gets closer to exam time what i'm going to do is do a set for Anki and then try write the essay out with whatever I can remember and then just like tweak what I need to work on. So that's my plan for that. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go over some pharmacology and yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to close the video off here now so I can crack on with some work. As always, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and press the bell button. See you next time.